they're kind of like a large ship going by you. Uh, they're just so large. They definitely get your attention. I'm Amy Ramsdell. I am the Motor Carrier Division Administrator, and I have been with ODOT for a little over 20 years. I tell people that we regulate the trucking industry in Oregon. We have huge numbers of permits that come through for various types of things. One big project that's taking place right now, one big wind tower project. The motor carrier that was bidding on the project, they let us know that they had several hundred loads that were related to another um, windmill production in Eastern Oregon. Standing next to one of the windmill blades or the turbine itself, and even the tower sections, they're just huge. Most of these were super loads, which is kind of the upper echelon of size that we deal with. One of the things we did early on was we asked them for some basic dimensions. So total length with the truck, they're 245 feet long. Which is very, very long. Everything's getting bigger. The stuff that we were doing when, you know, when I started here 10 years ago, all of it looks real small compared to what we're doing now. We actually started the pre-planning work for these loads two to three months before we were going to move them just because of the size. We moved about 153 uh, different pieces out of the Port of Portland. A lot of coordination that takes place. When is a good time? When is the road least congested? They're so large that we require them to move early in the morning. Um, the risk is lower, they can move safer, they can maneuver better. They struggle making that turn from I-5 southbound to I-84. Even though that one was so tight, that was really the only available route. For a load that's over 250 feet long, that's difficult to navigate. And so they did that with ease and then they moved along the route. The bigger projects like these are fun. It's very important for ODOT to play a role. This powers Oregon's economy literally powers it, and so it's important that we get the loads through for the state and for the citizens of Oregon.